Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add a PTZ camera to your GeoVision system. Now when you start your camera, it comes with a video cable and an RS-485 connection. Now of course the video connection connects to your GeoVision system onto the pigtails. And now you're going to have the RS-485 connection. To connect the RS-485 connection to your system, you're going to need a GVCOM USB adapter. And what it does is converts the USB to RS-485. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the RS-485 cables back to that GVCOM. Now if you don't know how to install a GVCOM, um, you could go watch our video on how to install a GVCOM on your YouTube channel. And a GVCOM is something that doesn't come with the system. It's something that you do have to purchase. So let's say you install your GVCOM and you're ready to get the camera installed onto the software. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to gather some information. What you need is, you're gonna, first you're going to need to know what COM port is the GVCOM on. And we could do that by going to our device manager. And we could get to the device manager by hitting start. Go into control panel click in hardware and click in device manager once our device manager pops up uh, we can go under where it says ports and we're looking for something that says prolific USB to serial COM port right here and once we found out you can see it should say something like uh, COM and then a number mine says COM3 so I know my GVCOM is on COM3 so let me go ahead make a note of that. And the last three information that we're going to need is, is going to be PTZ address or ID. They're, you know, consider some uh, camera would call it address and some other cameras would call it ID, but they're the same thing. We're going to need baud rate and we're going to need protocol. Now to set these up, because you, you're going to have to set them up. To set these up, you're going to have to set them up on the camera. It's physically, physically on the camera. There are little dip switches where you set up. I highly recommend you read over your PTZ camera manual to learn how to set these up. Uh, the settings that I like to use is I always like to use um, baud rate 2400, Pelco D, and then ID1. Of course, if you have multiple uh, PTZs, the ID is going to be different. But I, I would rec recommend using baud rate 2400 and protocol Pelco D. So let's say you know I have all this uh, information already now I could go in to my GeoVision system and set up my camera so right now I have my PTZ camera on camera 3 to set the PTZ function I'm gonna have to click on the configure button click on accessories PTZ devices and add slash remove PTZ I'm gonna click that and here's going to be a list of all the protocol that we're uh, that is available to us. And since we set it up as Pelco D, I'm going to click on Pelco D and I'm going to add it. I'm going to click this arrow to add it. I already added it right here. So you, as you can see, it's already added. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, once you add it, what you want to do is you want to restart your multicam system so it can save that setting. So once you restart it, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Configure click on accessories again and click on PTZ device setup click on the checkbox to enable it then click on this icon right here we're gonna click active and they're gonna ask us for the information they're gonna ask us for what COM port it's on we know it's on COM port 3 well mine is on COM port 3 yours might be different so but you should gather all the information prior to doing this and we know we set our baud rate to 2400. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK. So now when I go to camera 3, I'm going to get an icon right here, a PTZ icon. Once I click on it, my virtual PTZ control is going to pop up. Now, as you, now I set my address to 1, but on some of the GV, uh, GeoVision software, I believe it's all of them, they're minus 1. Which means if I physically set it to address one on my PTZ camera, GeoVision is going to recognize it as address zero. So minus one, one of one is going to be zero. So let's say you set your ID to address two. 
minus one of that is going to be one. So whatever you physically, whatever your address is on your PTZ camera, if you're using it on a GeoVision software, just do minus one. So I set it to address one. It's really going to be zero on my on my GeoVision system. So what I'm going to do if I click right, it's going to move over a little bit. And if I click left, you know, it's going to move over to the left. So, I mean, it's it's basically pretty simple once you have all the right information. Um, and that's basically how you add a PTZ camera to your GeoVision system. Make sure you check out our other YouTube uh, videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.2mcctv.com.